welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing good. I am, and we're going to react to EBR, Epic Rap Battles of History. And this is Stephen King, the creepy dude. Even more creepy, or just as creepy, versus Edgar Allan Poe. You know, Stephen King's a writer, Allan Poe's a writer. Always talking about some creepy, creepy stuff. So who's going to win the creep fest? I don't know. I don't know, but I like them both, so let's check it out. I'll tell you who I won. You tell me who you won in the comment section. You disagree? Well, we can uh, fight over it there. So definitely comment. Uh, change my mind. I don't know. Let's check it out, and I'll tell you who I thought won. Weird dude. Once upon a midnight dreary, as I spit this weak and weary, I will choke this joker with a trophy till his cheeks are teary. Ah! But y'all don't hear me, all should fear me. Up a river, be better, you'll never be near me. Your books are as eerie as Beverly Cleary. You're a full <laughs> brand stoker, so scram, the show's over. Your flow so, so, pose, poems, pone, poser. I wrote him locked in a cave, while I sobbed in a rage. The telltale heartbeat stopped in his grave. Well, this jerk just beats off on a page. You want to shop? You got that far. Go back to Hot Topic and shop for a time. There's a melancholy alcoholic laughing stock. And the king's dead, I watch the castle rock. Probably a little pole with an opiate affliction. I'm a workaholic with affection, addiction. Make an dedicated reader shivery and jittery. Feel that brain. Agent misery, you better start running, man. Guaranteed poo poo, I'm a mad dog. Big shiny, Cujo. Tell me, knock you down till you can't stand up. You're as soft as Bo, the Kung Fu Panda. Rags on rags, cause I've been fat stacks of frightening writing. Have you seen the pie? I can't even take a break from my routine style. Crank out a Shawshank or a green mime. Mask of the Red Dead, Billy Blood Curd, Lit the Pendulum. Not even a nerve. Hurry on your first cousin when she's 13 years old. Now that's disturbing. Even you pretend to do it, I've really living through a misery and poverty and family woes. I see through you like pantyhose. Do a Chappelle and Sips and Cameo. I'm going to give it to Stephen King. I think Stephen King won this. Talking about Ellen, or Edgar Allan Poe, uh, I think marrying his 13 year old cousin. And I like the ending, Nevermore, Nevermore. He, uh, he used his own verse against him, which is pretty tight. But it gives me, it leads to a question while I'm watching this, listen to this. How popular and how big would Edgar Allan Poe would have been if he was around Stephen King's time and vice versa? If you vice versa the eras that they lived in, it could be a whole different story. It could be a whole different book. I don't know. Um, a lot of Stephen King things are cheesy, you know, but I like Stephen King. I've watched, I've read some of his books. I've watched most of the movies. He's actually cameoing in a lot of his movies. I don't know if you knew that or not, but he, they throw him in there. And uh, Edgar Allan Poe read some of the poems, read some of the stories. He's creepy too. Uh, um, I think <coughs> Edgar Allan Poe is actually more creepy than Stephen King. Very creepy, very mysterious. But as far as the rap battle, I give it to Stephen King. Who do you give it to? Let me know in the comment section and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit that subscribe button, share, like, whatever. I'll see you next time. Peace.